Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to join us here for this very special Vespers program. This afternoon, we are featuring my favorite wind symphony ever, the wind symphony of the Loma Linda Academy. I had the absolute pleasure of attending the band and choir retreat at the beginning of the year. And listening to these students practice throughout the year, it's incredible what they have to share with us this afternoon. This afternoon represents hundreds and thousands of hours of practice, of dedication, of perfection of this art. And we are going to be blessed by something truly beautiful. This world is filled with chaos. It is filled with entropy. Things tend towards disorder. But every now and again in this world, things are planned. Things are worked on, practiced, rehearsed to make them orderly and beautiful. And this afternoon, this is what we are here for. This is a moment to simply celebrate beauty and order, music that celebrates all things good in this world. So thank you for being with us as we make this moment sacred and wonderful. To begin with, we will offer a prayer, and then we'll pass it over to the band, and we will be blessed. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, it is just a wonderful thing to be here, ready to receive this gift of music that has been prepared and crafted and perfected. God, we do these things for your glory. Thank you so much for your felt presence with us this afternoon. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone here today, and hello to all of our family and friends watching us across the globe. It is our sincere hope and prayer that you will be blessed by the music we present, some original cons compositions for concert band, as well as arrangements of beloved hymns and spirituals. Uh, you just heard a fanfare based on a familiar hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King, and just a quick little Google search the other day taught me that that melody was first published in the year 1623, which makes it about 401 years old. Still a good melody. But even more remarkably, the lyrics, which we're accustomed to singing, by the way, it's number two in our church hymnal, the lyrics were written in the year 1225, 799 years ago. 
considering that the music I listened to as a teenager is now considered oldies. I think this music has passed the test of time. It gives me much satisfaction that many of the old classic Christian hymns can still be meaningful and interesting to us now. So our next two pieces are also based on beloved hymns. The first is Amazing Grace, which is possibly the most well-known hymn here in the United States. And following that is a work titled Beside Still Waters, which is based on the hymn He Leadeth Me, which hearkens to the 23rd Psalm. And just because the lyrics are so beautiful, I wanted to read the first verse to you. He leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whatever I do, wherever I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I will be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Amazing grace, and then beside still waters.
At this time, we'd like to feature a couple of the small ensembles from within our band. We actually have four officially this year, a woodwind quintet, a brass quintet, a clarinet quartet, and a sax quartet. So we'd like to share uh, the clarinet quartet with you first. They will be performing a prelude in D minor, originally written by the famous composer Johann Sebastian Bach, but arranged for clarinet quartet by the big kid with a beard over there. That's Mr. Udvardi. Say hi to Mr. Udvardi. Mr. Udvardi is playing with the clarinets because one of our clarinet players got sick. In fact, something has starting to overtake our school. I have five of our, our wind symphony students are out sick tonight. So I want to say thank you to Mr. Udvardi for covering, making up for it. He's a man of many talents. Um, I want to introduce the, the rest of the students, the, the students to you. We have Allison Kim on first clarinet, Madison Coltfarber on clarinet. What did I say wrong? I called her Allison. Her name is Audrey. Her sister's name is Allison, and I've been calling her Allison for years, and I just did it again to my chagrin. And I apologize to Audrey's mother. I've done this several times. There you are, in the front row. Okay, well, let's rewind. On first clarinet, we have Audrey Kim. We would have Sarah Stevens, however, she is not feeling well, so the big kid with the beard is playing with her. That's Mr. Udvardi. Uh, next to them is Madison Coltfarber, a senior, and another senior, Zenon Alzola, on bass clarinet, also a senior. I'd better let them play before I embarrass myself anymore. Hope you enjoy the prelude in D minor.
Loma Linda Academy has a long history of fantastic saxophone quartets, and we owe it all to Mr. Udvardi. So sorry to draw so much attention to you, sir, but you deserve so much credit for all that, you, all that he does at our school. He teaches so many of our, our woodwind players, and he does such a great job. So I just want to say thank you to you as he gets ready. And the sax quartet is going to play a hauntingly beautiful arrangement of Were You There? I apologize. I failed to mention the names of our saxophone players. That was Joshua Solanap on the, on the uh, soprano saxophone, uh, Milton Pantig also on alto sax, Keith Bayetta on baritone sax, and of course, Mr. Udvardi on the tenor. Abide With Me, uh, a song often sung at memorial services, and the arranger of our next piece has done a very creative thing by 
including a bugle call known as the Last Post, right next to the hymn tune of Abide With Me. The Last Post is played by a bugle at military funerals in the British Commonwealth. It's very similar to taps as we know it here in the United States. Uh, tonight, the last post will be played by our first trumpet player, Ethan Kelly.
this next piece is extra special because it was actually written by one of our students, Chikwendu Okwandu. And this is the third piece that he has written for our band. And we are the only, I hope we're the only band that has performed your, your concert music, right? Yes. So Chikwendu is a senior this year. He plays the first chair trombone. And I've, I've never had a student who's composed band music before. So this is a first for me in my, my teaching career. It's really special and, and I'm just, we're, I just feel so honored um, to have such talent in our group such as this. I hope you enjoy his version of telling his story.
just a few words from the composer of our final piece tonight. Oh, uh, let's see if this is awkward. There we go. The effect of love on humanity is abundant, and I think we forget that from time to time. Regardless of race, gender, religion, or indifference, we are all united by a common thread, passion and love. Centered around the warmth that love brings, this piece, Halcyon Hearts, takes us on an unexpected journey to find love. While this love may result to be romantic for some, to me is it about, it's about the moment that someone finds their passion. Using colors, natural energy, and passion, I created a sound of ambition for the ensemble. I would like to dedicate this piece to those who love all of mankind, no matter what negativity there may be around you. Let love be love and always choose it. When you do, the halcyon days will come. And also, one more thing. I, want, I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight especially the parents and the friends of the students. It means so much to them that you came tonight. I want to say thank you to Loma Linda University Church for hosting us. I want to say thank you to our media department who do the lights and sound. And lastly, I want to thank my students for their commitment and their love of music, which inspires me. Thank you for sharing your children with me. It's always, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing pleasure.
thank you all again for coming. Um, every student has a little job to do before they go home, so talk amongst yourselves, enjoy each other's company, we'll, we'll be down in just a few minutes. Good evening and enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs>